In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Kinefix and Houdini to apply mockup data to a custom character. I will show you how to apply the body, hand, and also the AR kit data for the blend shapes. Of course, this technique can be used with other blend shape based facial solutions too. First of all, you need Houdini 18.5 for this because Kinefix was introduced first in this version. You need a properly prepared model with the correct rig and the 52 orchid blend shapes on the face. Let's get started. First, import your character from the file menu. Check Import Blend Deformers as Blend Swaps because you will need those blend shape controls. Now, import your facial mockup data. Here in the import window, check the import blend deformers as blend SOPs and also unlock the formation file chops. Let's resize the head and for the sake of clarity, rename the node. Normals are flipped now, but it doesn't really matter because it will be hidden anyways. Now we have both FBX files in our scene, we need a little manual work here. Let's arrange the layout to fit the task. First, I will split the pane to top and bottom, and then have the upper part for properties and the lower for network view. Dive into the facial mockup FBX here and find the face blend node. Pin this pane so we will have this stationary. Now let's jump to the other side and find the neutral node. Within this node, we have to find the neutral blend node. Let's pin it too, just in case. Now it would be a lot of guesswork here to find the correct channels. But we got lucky because we have a button at the top of the list, so the channels will grab the names of the channels from the input. Press this button on both sides and you can see that the channels now have names we mostly understand. For some reason the order of these controllers are different, but anyway we have them all. Grab the first controller and drop it on the right side, obviously to the same channel name. Choose a relative reference from the drop-down. Go through all of the channels and you are done. Well, almost. Reset the top pane to the viewer and simply close the bottom one. Check your character. The face now should do the business for you. Hide your mockup face and unpin the panes, of course. Let's jump into Kinafix and combine this one with the body mockup. Drop down the Geo node and dive in. Drop down two more nodes, one for the mesh to be driven and another one for the animation data. Scene character import is what you need first. Here, browse to your character and object level. You can ignore this console message. Next, drop down an FBX animation import node and bring in the animation data. Now, hit tab and type blend and choose character blend shapes node. While it is selected, just hit shift enter and it will connect all three pipes. Now grab a bound deform node and rig match pose too. Connect the right pipe to the FBX animation import node and the left one to the character blend shapes node. On the rig match pose node, check the tweak rotate links up on the top and start tweaking your rig so it will match a bit better with your character's rig. This is essential to have right proportions on the rig, otherwise you will face some artifacts on the skin.
when it's done, drop a map points node. Set a little target offset here to see what is going on. Now start to connect the corresponding joints. You can use symmetry by holding down the shift while clicking on the joints. As you can see, joints have proper naming attributes. Always choose an unbound object from the target rig. When all the joints are nicely connected, drop down a full body IK node. and also a rig pose node. The rig pose node will allow you to tweak your rig a little bit more, especially for the shoulders area, which seem to be slightly off in most cases I tested. Now drop down the material node at the end and we are pretty much done. I hope you learned something useful today. Thanks for watching. Cheers.